Um, so guys, I'm in Kitale town. I'm actually here on business. Yes, um, I'm about to go meet some friends of mine. Uh, there's some stuff that I want to do, like just personal stuff that is business. Like, yeah. So there's this guy that I'm going to meet. He's my colleague at work, but also he's supposed to do for me something personal. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to just show you the room tour. Uh, before I got ready because um, yeah I don't want to like show you <laughs> talk to you guys when I'm looking shabby because I was looking really really shabby I was from work and I decided to like have a little staycation here while doing business at the same time so we're just going out for like food and like drinks I've it's been so long since I just had fun ever since COVID struck. So I just decided, let me just, you know, just a little staycation. Yeah. So that's my earlier that day. So this is what I've worn. It's basically a dude's outfit, but I'm too tall, so it doesn't even reach me anywhere. I just bought it in the supermarket. The room is pretty decent. I don't know. It's cute. So this is the room. It's got like nice thing there. It's raining out. It's got a nice really got a nice picture here and also the view is not so bad it's got a balcony so i like it it's got a tv there oh this is just my closet and these are the clothes i'm supposed to actually go out with this is for filming i carried it because there's a video i want to film with and i want to either wear this one or that leopard one uh to meet with the people I'm supposed to meet with and the wig that I'm gonna wear is this it's really cute and this little bag that I thrifted a long time ago that's what I'm planning to wear and then here is the bathroom it's just uh, you enter like this bathroom looks like this hey hey guys hi and the washroom not thing much system oh it's much cuter than it looks yeah it's pretty cute i like it we are back in the room just a desk a chair some water yeah so let's get this party started let's get this party started so I just prepared my face basically by using um, a sheet mask. I washed my face, then I did like a sheet mask for a while just to make sure that it's moisturized. You guys know I've been breaking out a lot. I don't know whether it's the food I've been eating. I'm yet to find the cause, but it's clearing out. So just to be on the safe side, because I'm going to apply a lot of product today, I decided to do like a, sh um, a moisturizing sheet mask first yeah that's what i'm just rubbing in because the products tend to be a lot yeah they normally like remain on the face so i'm just gonna rub it in nice and make sure that everything is absorbed eh? So I'm just basically using this Maybelline um, mattifying primer. It's the Fit Me primer and it's the mattifying primer. I really like it because I have an oily face. So if you have an oily face, you can use it. And mostly you concentrate on the T-zone because it's a mattifying primer. And I'm just going to use it like all over the face. I normally apply generously. You don't have to apply generously like me. Yeah. So 
So I wanted to do foundation first, but I went against it because I just thought like it would, it's going to be messy. Afterwards, I don't know how to do foundation without doing my eyebrows first. So I decided to do my eyebrows first and I'm just using the, um, can't remember the name of this product really well because it's not, oh, pastel, yes. The pastel um, eyebrow something something and eyebrow mascara, yes, it was an eyebrow mascara. That's the one I was using like to comb out the eyebrows. And then right now I am using the Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer just to like define my brows because I really want them defined, yes. What I love about that pastel mascara is that it's actually like makes your brows sting, please. Like they will not leave your face. That's what I love about it. Although the color is not really the color I wanted because I'm using a dark brown. Um, I would have really wanted a black because I'm dark skinned, I mean. For this part, I'm just cleaning my eyebrows and I'm just using the actually a very wrong uh, brush that you're supposed to clean your eyebrows with because I only brought one eye brush and one face brush and that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use one eye eyeshadow brush for everything and I'm going to use one foundation brush for everything else. So yeah, because I don't like, I'm not a heavy packer so I'm just cleaning my brows and then we're going to go to the next step. So for this next step, I'm just using, I've just dabbed that same illegal concealer all over my eyelids. And that's what I'm going to use an, as an eyeshadow primer or an eyeshadow base. Um, just to create an even surface for my eyeshadow to go on and also to make the eyeshadow adhere to the skin better. And I'm just using the same, same brush, the same, same eyeshadow brush that I told you guys that I carried cleaned the eyebrows with it now i'm using it to brush off the whatever and i'm using the a foundation brush it's a tiny one that i actually carried just to uh make sure that the surface is better even yeah Next, I only carried one eyeshadow palette, and it's this Huda Beauty fake Huda Beauty keyword, guys. It's a fake. That's why I decided to carry it, because I normally get tend to lose things in hotels, in clubs, in what. So I just decided, let me carry this fake one. And it has like a bronzer and a blush on the side and a few shades of eyeshadow. So I decided that it would be perfect for minimal packing. As I said, I really, really hate packing. I hate packing a lot of things. I hate carrying a around big luggages. I don't even own a suitcase, so I'm the kind of person who packs in a backpack or a handbag. So you won't see me with a suitcase going anywhere. And I'll make sure that everything fits. Yeah, so um, basically, I am just taking a copper eyeshadow and I'm just dabbing it like right inside the eye. I just want like a coppery look. The camera is not so clear because I didn't even carry the ring light. And... Yeah, so I'm just dabbing it on my eyes using, as I said, I only carried one brush for eyeshadow and I've already used it like for the eyebrows and also for the um, the other thing that I was using, concealer, yes, for the concealer that I used as an eyeshadow primer. So that brush is done. It cannot pick up the eyeshadow properly. It is so matted down already. So I'm just applying with my fingers and I really love copper. So copper is my color and that's what I'm going to use. Next, I'm just going to use this Maybelline uh, Call Crayon. It's actually a crayon. It's not an eyeliner, a gel eyeliner. So it's a crayon. And I'm just going to use it to line my, the inner lids of my eyes, both the upper and the lower one. Because I just think like when you line even the upper one, it looks so much better. Think Arabs, think Indians. They normally line their upper and lower um, eyelids. Yes, so that's what we are going to do. And if you don't know how to line the upper one, it's creepy, but we will do it. We will do it. So you can see the difference between the one that I've lined and the one that is not lined. So basically these are the lashes I'm going to use and as you can see they are really really short compared to the ones I normally use like for filming and that's the reason because the ones for filming are too ridiculous for you to go around in them. Like if you go around with them people will think you're mad or you're crazy. So <laughs> I normally prefer like shorter lashes that um, look a bit normal and those ones I didn't get them from AliExpress I just bought them from a local beauty shop. Um, the really long ones are the ones I normally get from AliExpress. 
but those ones I just bought from like a local beauty shop because I don't have any small lashes and I don't want to look crazy. So <laughs> yeah, by the way, that's just a hack. You don't, if you have really large lashes, like they look too unnatural, honestly, for people <laughs> when you walk around in them, they're really good for filming, but they're too unnatural. And this lash glue is the one I'm using like for basically, yeah. That's lash glue I'm applying. That's not um, eyeliner, guys. That's lash glue. I prefer to apply the lash lash glue onto my eyes and then put the the eyelid the not the eyelid put the eyelash on because that's just much much easier. Yeah. As you can see, they look really supernatural. Like, they don't look like my normal lashes that I normally put on for filming, but they're really cute. Yeah, much, much better. So I'm going to do concealer first, um, and I'm just going to apply them simultaneously, like concealer and what is it called? Foundation at the same time. So the concealer goes under my eye, and foundation goes to the rest of the face. That's just how I do my makeup. talk about disappointment just look at the difference in shade of those two foundations like okay not foundations like that foundation and my my neck <laughs> okay let me just laugh guys because seriously that's not my foundation shade in even in case you're wondering this is cappuccino and the reason i picked it is that i've always suspected it's not my foundation shade and when it comes to nightlife i'd rather waste the foundation that's not my shade than use the one that is actually my shade because those are the ones I normally use for filming now this one is just I I don't even know what to say it's just wrong on so many levels um I think my actual real foundation shade is actually Spice the one by Clinique they're the only ones who have found that have a shade that is literally my skin color I've tried almost all Maybelline shades guys and I hope that I'll finally find my shade but the closest one to my shade is warm coconut, not cappuccino. Cappuccino is just da lighter or weird. I don't know. It's lighter, I think. And uh, warm coconut is just, I, I've never understood. But anyway, guys, in case you, you know a shade that will suit me from Maybelline, let me know in the comment section because I have not found. Um, For Clinique, I have found definitely Spice. Spice is my color. And also for... um. Yeah, but anyway, basically let's just proceed with the makeup because there's nothing I can do at this point.
Okay, yeah, so the dress I picked is actually this dress. It's giving me summer vibes and I've worn it with sneakers because I am not about wearing high heels. I am over 30. There is nowhere I am going to disturb myself and I'm from work with high heels. No, 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 no. So I just worn it with sneakers and it's just a cute dress. I got this dress from the Boohoo website, um, the tall section of Boohoo. And I've just worn it with a leather jacket and some sneakers and that wig that wig is really fire and uh, yeah i really like it the dress is really comfortable i'm all about comfort guys like to me that is comfort at its finest i don't like people like things hanging out of places you know <laughs> sorry to say but like this modern styles where like your boobs are about to fall out no 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 that's not me so that dress can be one off shoulder yeah so I am ready to go.